All right, my lovelies, welcome back. Good morning. Um, I believe, yes. All right, so we are on Genesis chapter 24. All right, let me make my screen brighter and get my glasses. All right, <clears throat> so I'm gonna apologize in advance for all the sniffling. It's that time of year again where my allergies start acting up. <clears throat> and they're being a pain in the butt today. All right. So Genesis chapter 24. And Abraham was old and well stricken in age, and the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. And Abraham said unto his eldest servant of his house, that ruled over all he had. Put, I pray thee, thy hand under my thigh, and I will make thee swear by the Lord, the God of heaven, and the God of the earth, that thou shalt not take a wife unto my son of the daughters of the Canaanites, among whom I dwell. But thou shalt go unto my country and unto my kindred, and take a wife unto my son Isaac. And the servant said unto him, Peradventure, the woman will not be willing to follow me unto this land. Must I needs bring thy son again unto the land from whence thou camest? And Abraham said unto him, Beware thou, that thou bring not my son thither again. Thither. That's a lovely word. Where am I? Ooh, I am so, so sleepy. All right. And the servant put his hand under the thigh of Abraham his master and swear to him concerning that matter. And the servant took ten camels of the camels of his master and departed. For all the goods of his master were in his hand, and he arose and went to Mesopotamia, unto the city of Nahor. That ice machine man. And he made his camels to kneel down without the city by a well of water at the time of the evening, even the time that women came to, out to draw water. And he said, O Lord God of my master Abraham, I pray thee, send me good speed this day, and show kindness unto my master Abraham. Behold, I stand here by a well of water, and the daughters of the men of the city come out to draw water and let it come to pass that the damsel to whom I shall say let down thy pitcher I pray thee that I may drink and she shall say drink and I will give thy camels drink also let the same be she that thou hast appointed for thy servant Isaac and therefore shall I know that thou hast shewed kindness unto my master Servants back then were more like family. Okay. And the damsel was very fair to look upon, a virgin, neither had any man known her. And she went down to the well, and filled her pitcher, and came up. And the servant ran to meet her and said let me i pray thee drink a little water of thy pitcher and she said drink my lord and she hastened and let down her pitcher upon her hand and gave him drink and she, when she had done giving him drink she said i will draw water for thy camels also until they have done drinking and she hastened and emptied her pitcher into the trough and ran again into the wall to dr well to draw water and drew for all of his camels that's a lot of water camels can drink a lot and the man wondering at her 
held his peace, to wit whether the Lord had made his journey prosperous or not. And it came to pass, as the camels had done drinking, that the man took a golden earring of half a shekel weight, and two bracelets for her hands of ten shekels weight of gold, and said, Whose daughter art thou? Tell me, I pray thee, is there room in thy father's house for us to lodge in? Oop, there it is. Oh, maybe I should start taking up coffee. Oops. And she said unto him, I am the daughter of Bethuel, the son of Milcah, which she bare unto Nahor. She said, Moreover unto him, We have both straw and provender enough and room to lodge in. And the man bowed his head and worshipped the Lord. And he said, Blessed be the Lord of my master Abraham, who hath not left destitute my master of his mercy and his truth. I being in the way, the Lord led me to the house of my master's brethren. And the damsel ran and told them of her mother's house these things. And Rebekah had a brother, and his name was Laban. And Laban ran out unto the man unto the well. And it came to pass, when he saw the earring and bracelets upon his sister's hands, and when she heard, when he heard the words of Rebekah his sister, saying, Thus spake the man unto me, that he came unto a man. And behold, he stood by the camels at the well, and he said, Come in, thou blessed of the Lord. Wherefore standest thou without? For I have prepared the house and a room for thy camels. And the man came into the house, and he ungirded his camels, and gave straw and provender for the camels, and water to wash his feet, and the men's feet that were with him. And there was set meat before him to eat. But he said, I will not eat until I have told mine errand. And he said, Speak on. And he said, I am Abraham's servant, and the Lord hath blessed my master greatly, and he has become great, and he has given him flocks and herds of, and silver and gold and manservants and maidservants and camels and asses. And Sarah, my master's wife, bare a son to my master when she was old, and unto him hath given all that he hath. And my master made me swear, saying, Thou shalt not take a wife to my son of the daughters of Canaanite, in whose land I dwell. But thou shalt go unto my father's house and to my kindred, and take a wife unto my son. Rebecca came forth with her pitcher on her shoulder, and she went down. Hang on. Was that right? Ooh, man. Even with my glasses, I am too tired to be doing that. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I skipped a whole thing. And before I had done speaking in mine heart, behold, Rebekah came forth with her pitcher on her shoulder, and she went down unto the well and drew water. And I said unto her, Let me drink, I pray thee. And she made haste, and she let down her pitcher from her shoulder, and said, Drink, I will give thy camels drink also. So I drank, and she made the camels drink also. And I asked her and said, Whose daughter art thou? And she said, The daughter of Bethuel, Nahor's son, whom Milcah bare unto him. And I put the earring upon her face and the bracelets upon her hands. And I bowed down my head and worshipped the Lord. And blessed the Lord God of my, most, mas, of my master, Abraham, <laughs> which had led me 
and the right way to take my master's brother's daughter unto his son. Now, if ye will deal kindly and truly with my master, tell me, and if not, tell me, that I may turn to the right hand or to the left. Then Laban and Bethuel answered and said, The thing proceedeth from the Lord. We cannot speak unto thee bad or good. That's what it says at the bottom. It's just good right there. Okay. Behold, Rebekah is before thee. Take her and go, and let her be thy master's son's wife, as the Lord hath spoken. And it came to pass that when Abraham's servant heard the words, he worshipped the Lord, bowing himself to the earth. And the servant brought forth jewels of silver and jewels of gold and raiment, and gave them to Rebekah. He gave also to her brother and to her mother precious things. They did eat and drink, and he and the men that were with him, and tarried all night. And they rose up in the morning, and he said, Send me away unto my master. And her brother and her mother said, Let the damsel abide with us a few days, at the least ten, after that she shall go. And he said unto them, Hinder me not, seeing the Lord hath prospered my way. Send me to go, that I may go to my master. And they said, We will call the damsel, and inquire at her mouth. And they called Rebekah, and said unto her, Wilt thou go with this man? And she said, I will go. You go, girl. Okay. And they sent away Rebekah, their sister, and her nurse, and Abraham's servant, and his men. And they blessed Rebekah and said unto her, Thou art our sister, be thou the mother of thousands of millions, and let thy seed possess the gate of those which hate them. And Rebekah rose, and her damsels, and they rode up the camel, and followed the man. And the servant took Rebekah and went his way. And as it came from the way of the well Lahi, Roy, for he dwelt in the south country. And Isaac went out to meditate in the field at the eventide, and he lifted up his eyes and saw, and beheld, the camels were coming. And Rebekah lifted up her eyes, and when she saw Isaac, she lighted off the camel, for she had said unto the servant, What man is this that walketh in the field to meet us? And the servant said, It is my master. Therefore she took a veil and covered herself. And the servant told Isaac all things that he had done. And Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah's tent, and took Rebekah, and she became his wife, and he loved her. And Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. Just like in the first, second chapter of Genesis, a man shall leave his family and cleave to his wife. <laughs> All right. Chapter 25. We're halfway. Genesis has 50 chapters. All right. Let's get her done. <clears throat> then again, Abraham took a wife, and her name was Keturah. And she bare him Zimran, and Jokshan, and Medan, and Midian, and Ishbak and Shua. <laughs> and Joksan begat Sheba and Dedan. And the sons of Dedan were Ashurmi Hurimilabab and Lesh <laughs> Letshuim. There we go. And Lumim and Leomim. Close enough. And the sons of Midian were Epath and Epher and Hannah and Abida, and Elda, and these, all these were the children of Keturah. And Abraham gave all that he had unto Isaac. But unto the sons of the concubines, which Abraham had, Abraham gave gifts, and sent them away from Isaac his son, while he yet lived, 
eastward unto the east country. And these are the days of the years of Abraham's life, which he lived, an hundred and threescore and fifteen years. And Abraham gave up the ghost and died in a good old age, an old man and full of years, and was gathered to his people. Gathered to his people. That's an interesting saying. Interesting. And his sons, Isaac and Ishmael, buried him in the cave of Malchpelah in the field of Ephron, the son of, of, of Zohar the Hittite, which is before Mamre, the field which Abraham purchased of the sons of Heth. There was Abraham buried and Sarah his wife. And it came to pass after the death of Abraham that God blessed his son Isaac. And Isaac dwelt by the well Lahiroi. Now these are the generations of Ishmael, Abraham's son, whom Hogar, Hagar, <laughs> Hagar the Egyptian, Sarah's handmaid, bare unto Abraham. And these are the names of the son of Ishmael. By their names, according to their generations, the firstborn of Ishmael, Nebaioth, and Kedar, and Adbeel, and Mibsham, and Mishma, and Duma, and Masa, Hadar, and Tema, Jeter, Nafish, and Kedema. These are the sons of Ishmael. And these are their names, by their towns and by their castles, twelve princes according to their nations. Twelve, that's a reoccurring number. And these are the years of the life of Ishmael, an hundred and thirty and seven years. And he gave up the ghost and died, and was gathered unto his people. It's a fascinating sentence. And they dwelt from Havilah unto Sur, that is before Egypt, as thou goest toward Assyria. And he died in the prisons of all his brethren. And these are the generations of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham begat Isaac, and Isaac was forty years old when he took Rebekah to wife, the daughter of Bethuel, the Syrian of Adan Aram, the sister to Laban the Syrian. And Isaac entered the Lord for his, entreated the Lord for his wife, because she was barren. And the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebekah, his wife, conceived. <coughs> oh my gosh, sorry about that, guys. And the children struggled together within her, and she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord, and the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. And the elder shall serve the younger. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. The first came out red, all over, like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold of Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was threescore years old when she bare him. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field, and Jacob was a plain man, dwelling in tents. He was plain. And Isaac loved Esau, because he did eat of his venison. But Rebekah loved Jacob. And Jacob sawed pottage, and Esau came from the field and was faint. 
And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. Let's see. With that red, with that red pottage. Hell and pretty, then, whatever that means. <laughs> and Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die, and what profit shall this birthright do to me? And Jacob said, Swear to me this day, and he swore unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. A man thinking with their stomachs again. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and the pottage of lentils, and he did eat and drink, and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. Not the smartest thing, Esau. All right, guys, that's it. That's it for today. I am so tired. I can barely see straight. So I am going to finish working and then go home and sleep for as long as I can. I will see you guys tonight, technically tomorrow morning. All right, bye.